Today is Friday, August the 5th. And you know what that means? National Beer Day. And today, we're gonna do a beer by special request. Let's check it out. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Shane's Craft Beer Review. And hey, happy National Beer Day. Today, back in 1933, is when the Cullen-Harrison Act was passed, which ended prohibition in the United States. So today we call it National Beer Day on this windy day that we have. So today's beer uh, was actually a special request by my nephew, Devin. Um, he has actually requested a couple beers over the past couple years that, for me to review, and they've been fantastic. So he has really gotten into this beer and wanted me to review it for you guys. So let's do it. So today from Poland, we have, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing this right, Zwick. Um, this is 5.5% alcohol by volume, made in 1856. It's been around a long, long damn time, that's for sure. So let's get this in the glass. We'll give it a pour, see what the heck we got going on, and uh, hopefully find out why my nephew Devin loves this beer so much. Um, he apologized because he's like, oh, he goes, I know it's not really a craft beer. He goes, but can you do it for me? I'm like, yeah, no problem. I got you, buddy. I got you. All right, get that settled down in there. Yeah, National Beer Day. Yesterday we had National IPA Day. That was fun to do. I love doing these beer holidays. They're just so much fun. And really, it's just an excuse to have a beer anyway, isn't it? All right. Get this all settled down. Oh, a little blurb on the back here. Well, what the hell, let's read it. We got time or we're waiting for this to settle. Uh, since the very beginning, Zwick beer has been brewed in only one place the Archduke's Brewery in Zwick. Uh, when it comes to beer, we are uncompromising. This is why Zwick is brewed exclusively from three ingredients, malted barley, hops, and pure mountain water. All right. Well, hey, sometimes simple is a good beer. Three ingredients, that's all you need. I've had some really, really tasty three ingredient beers that don't have 15 different hops or different flavors added to it because it's not always necessary. Anyway, let's get into this beer, guys. We'll give her a quick little smell. Nice little sweet malty characteristic, this one. Almost a, almost a skunkiness to it, but not quite, not like a, not like a European, like a Heineken skunkiness, but there is a touch of a skunkiness smell to it. Yeah, who cares? Let's give her a try, guys. Happy National Beer Day. Cheers. That's not too bad. Pretty light in flavor. Nice little, nice little touch of malt in there. A little bit of sweetness. Very easy to drink. Like it, if you could, if you are a beer chugger, this is a, a good beer to, to choose for sure. Um, definitely easy to drink. Nice. I, like I could. This is this is a great beer to just sit and drink all day. Like if you had to drink one beer all day long, this is it. Easy to drink. It's nice. Decent little flavor to it. It's got a nice little, uh, like a breadiness to it too. Like I said, fairly light tasting, but decent solid beer. Like I, I could go through a whole bunch of these, no problem. Definitely an all day drinker. Anyway, so let's give this a quick little rating. On a scale of one to five, I think I'm gonna give this, uh, I'm gonna give it about a three and a quarter. Pretty good. Is it a beer that I'm gonna drink all the time? No. Is it a beer that I'm going to drink if you give me one? Absolutely, and I'll be happy to drink it. Um, but yeah, if you guys get a chance, like I said, check that out. The Zwick. Thank you to my nephew Devin for suggesting this beer. Have a great day, guys. We'll see you real soon.